Hello everybody, it's me Alicia. So for this video, I wanted to show you guys what I did with the Urban Glitz bead box. So when I filmed the opening of this video, I also filmed the beaded pumpkin tutorial that I have uploaded already. And after I posted both of those videos, um, it was right after I posted the pumpkin one, because first I posted the opening of this video, the Urban Glitz bead box, I got really sick. And I wanted to do a lot more with this Urban Glitz bead box, but I just felt so bad that I, I couldn't get out of bed. I was really, really sick to my stomach. So, um, I wanted to do more with this, but I wasn't able to. But I did do two things, and I really love how they turned out, so I'm going to show you guys what I made. So anyways, if you remember when I opened the box, I opened it, and the first thing I wanted to see was this. Here, this is a cork cording. This stuff is so awesome. It is amazing. And there's like flecks of gold throughout the cording. It's really cool. And I also got this suede cording here that I just love. It's really good quality. It's so soft and luxurious. I love that stuff. And this really cool braided cording. It's so cool. So, um... I loved all three of these, and I knew that I couldn't do all three of them, so I chose two, and I decided to go with these two, because I've already gotten two Urban Glitz bead boxes that had a cording that was similar to this one, same size, but they looked different. One had like a gold mesh on it, and the other one was like a pink color with gold, and um, it's like floral print. Anyways, because this one was sort of similar to those, same size, but looks different, I decided not to do that one and work with these two. And so I really loved this braid, and I wanted to do it as a headband, and I thought maybe I can do some seed beading on the top of this, and I did. And um, it was okay, but I felt like it took away from the beauty of the braid, so I ended up not doing it. But I did make this into a headband, and I'm going to show you how I did that. And this here, remember I've been wanting to make a necklace? I used this stuff to make a necklace, and it turned out really good, so I'll show you that too. So, the gold cord here that's braided. What I did, I wanted to have this as a headband, and I thought of how I kind of need it to be stretchy to go around my head, right? Because, you know, stretchy hand headbands. So, I took a hair tie. The kind that's, like, glued together, you know what I'm talking about? There's no metal and it, it's, like, glued together. And I took wire cutters and I cut it right where it was glued at, okay? And then I took a lighter and I sealed the ends because this is, like, a, a man-made material. It's, like, a nylon over an elastic cord. So I sealed the end so it wouldn't unravel. And then I did this wire end here. I've showed this before. I have um, boho feather earrings where I showed how to make this wire ending for the feathers. You can also do this on leather cording. There's so many things you can do with this here. It's great. And it's really strong. As hard as I pull it, it won't come out. And um... It's so awesome because this ring here will not open because the wire goes down into the wrap, so it's really durable. So anyways, I first did the elastic, okay? I cut it, I sealed the ends with a lighter, I made these wire things here on the end, and then I took this braided cord and I did not cut it from this. I worked straight off of this because I didn't know how much I was going to need. And I did not measure this. I just wrapped it around my head until I got where I thought it would be good. So um, I did this first, the hair tie. And then I wire wrapped the end here of my gold braid. And I put a heavy duty jump ring on here. It's a really strong jump ring. And then I had this part here, it was still connected to this, so it was open here. So what I did is I wrapped it around my head, and I was like looking in the mirror, and I was trying to get it just right. And I did stretch this some, because I didn't want it to be loose and like slip off my head, so I had it stretched some around my head. And I got it just right, and I figured, you know, where to cut it. And I cut it, and then I wire wrapped the other end. And I put the jump ring on, and I put it on, and it looks awesome. I love it so much. I have really dark brown hair, probably the same color here as this um, hair tie, and it looks really good with my dark brown hair. It's really pretty. And I was thinking, because I have a jump ring here, I could probably add, like, a strand of seed beads 
around this, but I don't know. I didn't do it because I've been so sick. But um, tell me what you guys think. Should I add a strand of seed beads going around there? I think I would do it with um, um, stainless steel nylon coated bead stringing wire. It would just be a strand of beads. And I would have to probably wear, when I wear it, the seed beads would probably have to be in the front because if they were in the back, they would probably just slip off my head. So this would stop them from slipping off. So yeah, that's how I made this. And if you want to learn how to do this wire wrapping here on the cord ends, I will leave a link down in the description bar for my um, boho feather earrings I did. I did this same exact technique on the feathers. And like I said, you guys can do this to leather cording. There's so many things you can do with this wire wrap here that's a little connector. It's a really awesome technique. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the necklace I made. So here is the necklace that I made. I wanted something long and multi-strand, and this is what I ended up with. I have my um, suede cording here at the back. It's really comfortable around my neck. And I used all the beads except for a few leftovers here in this tray. And I wanted to do the color blocking thing with this necklace. I really like that. So I did that. And um, I actually had several ideas. I went through several ideas before I made this. And I was not actually sure that my idea with how I connected the cord to the uh, beach ring wire was going to work. So um, I didn't film how to do it because I didn't know if it was going to work or not. So anyway, some of the ideas I had was I really liked this flower here. And I glued this crystal on it. And I wanted to do a wrap bracelet if this here didn't pan out. But this necklace did pan out. I was going to do a wrap bracelet with this cording here. And I, I wanted to do the orange beads and some of these. And, um, yeah, maybe do some more with it. I don't know. I didn't have it too planned out, but that was some of the ideas I had. And this leaf here, I love it. It has holes in it, two on each side. And I wanted to have it down here on the first, um, the longest one. But I decided against it because I needed an even amount of the blue beads and I have an odd amount. And I kind of thought it looked weird, so I didn't do it. Another idea that I had was because, oops, sorry about that. Because it has the holes in it, I could connect my bead strands onto these holes. So I thought I could have it either like this or like this, and I would have my necklace that goes around my back of my neck right here connected to this. So this would be a connector, okay, instead of doing what I have here. And I also thought this here, I love this piece. It's kind of like filigree, but it's not. It's, it's much thicker. I also thought I could use this as a connector. I was going to put it over here and connect my three strands to it. But um, I decided against these because I really wanted to use this suede cord. Some other ideas I thought of was putting this onto the headband. I could sew it onto the headband. Put a few beads on it, but that would be cute. But I would really like to use that as a closure. So I didn't do it. And I also thought about this leaf here. Because it has all these holes in it, I thought I could take like a 26 gauge wire and weave some beads on top of it and connect it here. And then I also decided against this because I thought my hair would get caught on this all the time. It would be aggravating, so I didn't end up doing that. So yeah, I had so many ideas I went through. Um, I did end up doing this. I was not sure this was going to work or not. Because of how I have the um, cord connected here. So what I did, my connections are hidden underneath this really cool bead. So these beads have really big holes. And what I did is I used bead stringing wire and I connected it to this cord. This cord's thick. It's really good quality. So I poked holes here and I have bead stringing wire and crimps there. I connected it right there in the center. Now, how I did this was I started straight off of this, okay? I did not cut a length because I didn't know how long I needed this to be. The very first thing I did was I took all of these beads and I put them onto a design board, which I haven't used in forever. The thing was really dusty. And, um, I made a pattern. I like the color blocking thing, so I went with that. And then I took 
and crimped. I poked a hole in the cord, okay? I crimped the shortest piece on first, okay? And then I have, um, I'll show you. I use these here as stoppers. You know, there's these uh, spring thingies. They're called bead stoppers or something. You can buy them. They're actually pretty expensive to put on your cord or thread when your strings, your beads don't fall off. Well, um, I use these really tiny binder paper clip things. They work the same, pretty much. So I, I had that on the end over there, keeping the beads from falling off. And then I crimped my second length, and then I crimped my third length, okay? So then I had three of these on the side over here, okay, that the, wasn't finished. And I wrapped this around my neck, and I adjusted the, the um, cord, trying to get the right length, and then I held on to where I needed to cut it, and I cut it, and then I made sure that this was flat, because I need this to be flat all the way around my neck, I didn't want it to twist, so then I went ahead and I crimped the first length here, the shortest one on first, and then I crimped my second, and my third, okay, well, I actually forgot to mention that you have to put these beads with the large holes onto this cord before you do any crimping because once you crimp, you can't put these on. You'll have to cut this off and start over again. So, um, yeah, I had to put these beads on first. And you know what I did? I realized that I had to do that, right? That I had to put these on before I did any crimping. What did I do? I poked a hole in the cord, the very first thing I did, I poked a hole in the cord, I crimped the shortest string on, and I realized, darn it, I didn't put my bead on. So when I went to go finish the end off, I had to take and put a bead on from the long end and go all the way, and it took a while because you have to fold this in half like this to slide it on along the cord. There is a lot of friction, so um, it took me a while to get it to the other end, but I did manage. So. Yeah, you have to have these large beads on. And I have uh, several large beads like this. And I was thinking, you know, I, this, how I made this can probably be done in several ways. So you guys should go through your stash. Because if you can't afford to do a bead box like this, go ahead, go through your stash, look for some beads with big holes. Maybe you already have a cord like this. I was also wondering about leather belts. Maybe cutting a leather belt in half long ways, if that's possible. It probably wouldn't be straight, but that might add character to it. And you could use that for something like this. I don't know. I think there's this idea can be used several different ways. It's really neat. I was also wondering about um, ribbon. Maybe ribbon. And when I made this, I was thinking about how this is kind of like stuff that you would see when you go to buy um, trims for like pillows and stuff in the fabric stores. And I was wondering about going to fabric stores and looking at the different trims that I can turn into headbands. That would be cool. But the thing is, is you do kind of want this to have a stiffness to this, so you can do the wire wrapping there in the end. So yeah, I hope that I gave you guys a lot of ideas. I think it turned out really nice. And I realized that this is the colors of the um, Florida Gators football team where I live. Anyways, I love both of these. I did have several ideas, as you can see. I told you several of them. And um, I hope that I gave you guys some ideas on what you can do. So, please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and like me on Facebook. And don't forget to share pictures of the jewelry we've made from my videos on my Facebook page, and follow me on Pinterest. Thanks for watching!